barrel aeroponic system. This is the barrel we've chosen. It is food grade. And I want to show you how I marked it and what I did and how I'm going to drill it and how many plants. This is going to be for larger plants and I want to put three inch pots in. And what I did is, if you come in a little bit closer, I'll show you that on the barrel it has a seam. And on the seam right here, I mark this as the center and I use this to start my process. And then what I did was I measured across the top and I see that it's 23 inches and then I found my center point and then I marked my center and then I used what is right here. You see it's got a square and a square. I know that's straight. So I made sure this was center and that started my straights for my sides. And once I got my sides, I took my tape measure and I put it on it and I just measured around until I got my thing was 18 inches and then I came back on each one and I made it nine inches. So I got my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines. So there'll be eight times three. There'll be 24 plants from each one at three inches. Now to make sure that I got everything straight, I first leveled my barrel. I made sure my barrel was level with the shim on the bottom. And then after I knew I was level, I'm gonna do this fast. I don't wanna waste your time with something that's basic. But to get my barrel straight, I just put my level on it. And that's how I got my marks in the centers. And what I did was, because there's, as you can see on the barrel, there's a hump. And I think that's gonna be hard to mold. And these are gonna be very large plants that are gonna run. This is for the, all my vine runners and big growing plants. So I'm only gonna put three on each thing eight times, so that'll be 24 plants, but I'm gonna stagger them across so each plant goes straight up and none of the plants can hit each other. And now that I got it all measured, I'm getting ready to drill my first hole. And after I drill my first hole, I'm going to test it by molding it and giving it the shape I want to make sure this will work. I don't want to do the whole thing and have a failure.